Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Legends of West Indies Cricket here on Cricket 360 Friday Night Line. This is the seventh in a series of 33 uh, legends. So far we've seen in alphabetical order Jimmy Adams, Kurt Lee Ambrose, Ian Bishop, Shibnarayan Chandrapal, Larry Constantine and Jeffrey Dujon. Tonight we look at uh, Roy Fredericks, fearless and destructive. Roy Clinton Fredericks was born in the then British Guyana in November 1942. Former England captain Mike Atterton in September 2015 reflected wistfully on having missed, which from all accounts was one of the most destructive of all test match innings. That from the slim five foot six inch Guyanese opener, left hander Roy Fredro, Fredo Fredericks, a swashbuckling 169 of 145 balls for the West Indies against Australia in December 1975 at the Waka Ground in Perth. According to Atterton, Fredo began by hooking the second ball off his nose from Lily for six just as he had the first ball of the World Cup final months before. Only this time he did not tread on his thumbs. Lilly's first five overs cost 35 runs. Thompson's opening three went for 33. Fredo's 50 came up in 33 balls and after lunch he continued the assault so that his 100 came up in just 71 balls. The slim figure of Fredo and his flashing blade, both feet off the ground on occasions as he flayed, slashed, and burnt Australia's bowlers into submission. West Indies' first innings closed the day at a remarkable 5.85 of 95.4 overs. There were no helmets. Fredo wore a short brimmed cloth floppy hat, or sometimes his maroon cap neither of which afforded much protection or any protection from the bowlers or the sun. It was a unique venue and it inspired what was surely one of the great innings in Test history. Close quote from Michael Atherton. The scores in that match, Australia 329, the likes of Ian Chappell 156, Gary Gilmore 45, Andy Roberts taking 2 for 65, Michael Holden 4 for 88, Bernard Julian 2 for 51 and in their second inning 169 Greg Chappell 43 Rodney Marsh 39 Andy Roberts 7 for 54 and Bernard Julian 3 for 32 that, that in a losing course to the West Indies 585 Roy Fredericks 169 Alvin Kalicharan 57 Clyde Lloyd 149, Derek Murray 63, Dennis Lilly 2 for 123, Jeff Thompson 3 for 128, Gary Gilmore 2 for 103, and Max Walker almost scoring a century in his bowling stint 2 for 99, losing by an innings and 87 runs. Others who have rated this inning as one of the best include Ian Chappell and Derek Murray both of whom played in the test match. Fellow Guyanese Colin Croft, fast bowler, has suggested that when he bowled at Fredericks, it was the feelers at gully and point who were scared. So fiercely did Fredo smack the ball in their direction. But Fredericks was more known for the hook shot. Of course, it was the shot that mentioned before that sometimes got him out. In the World Cup final of 1975, he lofted Lily into the crowd only to slip off balance backwards and dislodge a bale. The cricketing world at large first took note of Fredericks in 1967, with innings of 127 and 115 for Guyana against Barbados. Later in 1971, Glamorgan, impressed by his early test performances, signed him on. Fredericks made 145 not out in his first match for them, and also showed his usefulness as a left arm, back of the arm spinner, taking five wickets in the match. The county immediately awarded him his county cap. Among the many Fredo Black batting exploits was an attacking blitz he unleashed in 1972 
on Newton Dow, the young, fast, aggressive Jamaican pacer who had already played for the West Indies. Guyana was responding to Jamaica's mama total of 467 for 7 declared in the second round of regional shell shield matches when Dow came up against Frederick's flashing willow. Opening the bowling, Dow's first ball bouncer forced Frederick's into evas evasive action, only to see the ball cannon onto the handle of his bat and fly over fine leg for six. The next five deliveries of that over were dispatched to the boundary or flew over it. The sequence was six, four, 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 six, four. The interesting thing about Fredericks, considering the swashbuckling way he played, was his consistency. Throughout his international career from 1968 to 69, against Australia to his last test against Pakistan in 1977, he scarcely had a bad series. In 59 test matches, he scored 4,334 runs at an average of 42.49, with 8 centuries and 26 fifties, took 62 catches and 7 wickets with his slow left arm. He played in 12 ODIs, scoring one century and one half century. He represented British Guyana slash Guyana from 1963 to 1983, yes, 20 years, with an average of 63.83. His last matches for them, a surprise return, came at the age of 40, amazingly scoring 103 against Trinidad and Tobago and one and 217 against Jamaica, both games played in Ghana. At that time, he was the Minister of Sport. <laughs> it was a fine finale, much enjoyed by those who watched, enthralled by his brilliance. Over a first-class career of 20 years, he scored 16,384 runs at an average of 45.89 with 40 centuries and 80 half centuries. From 1971 to 73, he played 45 times for Glamorgan on the English circuit. Fredericks was named as one of Wisden's cricketers of the year in 1974. He left Test cricket to join Kerry Packer's World Series cricket in Australia in 1977-78. Later, he became Minister of Sport in Guyana. For a short time, he was a West Indies selector and coached and managed Guyana encouraging young players in his homeland. His highest innings was 250 for Guyana against Barbados at Bridgetown. In all, there were four double centuries. He toured England three times with the West Indies and was also there, as mentioned before, for the World Cup in 1975. He also toured with the regional team to Australia and New Zealand, India, Pakistan and Ceylon, now Sri Lanka. Roy Clinton Fe Fredericks died in New York of cancer in September 2000 at the relatively young age of 57. Well, we've come to another, the close of another edition. We hope you have enjoyed, you are enjoying this series. In the next episode, we will take a look at Joel Ghana of Barbados, fondly referred to as Big Bird. I thank you for viewing and until next week.